Because Dr. Gill drug you over to confront them. I can think of no better time than now to whip out my ventriloquist dummy, Endo. Yes. Um, so, um, who, who is, which of the three is the one that is like most threatening to Dr. Gill? Uh, well, the hairy one? Well, no, because he, he went off balance and now he's headed towards the other two. So they're basically like in equal, equal danger right now. They're both like, you know, the whole puffing up their chest, getting ready to do okay. some swinging. So I stand between the two. I try to jump between the two of them. Okay. And I put my arms up. One of them has endo in it. Yes. Okay. The, the other one, the one that is not endo, I put the, like, which one? Okay. Left and right, right? They're yes. in front of me. Which one has the worst vibe? Uh, I'm going to say the one on your left has the worst vibe. Okay. So the one on the right, my right hand has endo on it. My left hand makes a fist. And I go, uh, oh, God, I got to say something inspirational. Now I'm about to get fucked up! With, with, the, with endo, the dummy, and then I punch the other one in the groin. Okay, so that's going to be that's gonna be a body roll right there. So, my, yeah, my, my body is zero, so it's going to be a straight roll here. I got a 10. You got a 10? I uh, sure did. Yeah. Nice. Your fist solidly connects with the groin. Of the man who, as he pulls over, you can see he's got some tribal tattoos on his neck, and he is super white. Okay. So just it doesn't I, change I what I do. I continue yeah. connecting. Yes. No. You continue connecting. I just want you to know that the person you're hitting is not a good person. Okay. That's good. And <laughs> as this is happening, I want Endo to say to the other one, "Like yeah. this is coming for you too." <laughs> Sounds good. 